I've never smoked pot, but man, I used to I say some coke right now. It was a, uh, it's a more of a doorway drug. <laughs> <laughs> you get great ideas. That's right. But the minute you walk through that doorway, you can't remember shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's really the only effect I have when I don't have weed is I can't sleep. Like that, that's what I love about pot is that when you don't have it, you're not like, oh god damn it. And you're just like, all right, I'm really productive right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I got all my shit done, and it's not even noon yet. So one of the first times I ever got to feature on the road was for you in South Bend, Indiana. And uh, Shelby was kind of on you about smoking at the time. So yeah. she would go on stage, and you and I, you would fill a bong with Coors Light. Yeah. And we would do bong rips. And then after the show, this guy pulled up in a limo and pulled out to date one of the biggest stalks of weed I've ever seen. And we just sat, and he had a joint, it was like, it looked like a drumstick <laughs> that was on fire at one end. <laughs> and uh, we sat in that limo and got just wasted uh -huh. as the audience walked out. <laughs> and we just waved. <laughs> it, it looked like one of your movies, because yeah. there was literally just smoke, just blowing. Yeah, isn't that funny? My, my wife is still, uh, Gets on me. You think she'd pick I, I'm, sub, I'm 75 years old, man. I still sneak. Yeah. <laughs> hey, big treat. Funny man right here, Chris Porter. Give it up. Chris Porter. Good evening, good evening. I'm dating again, I hate it. I don't do Vegas, I don't do dance clubs. For obvious reasons. This. This is not my money maker. I gotta impress them with my witticisms. I don't have a dance club look. I can't walk to some dark club and just be like you. Let's go, right? The only girls following me are looking at her friends like, ladies, come on, we're going to a chocolate factory. It's going to be free. <laughs> yeah, lap it up. It's hilarious. <laughs> this is what it does. This is what it does. I didn't go to a salon and say, fucking wonk of me, all right? <laughs> Think I'm at the hotel waiting for curlers to set? No, I get out of the shower and this is what it fucking does. Yeah, and it's not gonna do this for long either. Found out about that the other day, that's happening. Look at it just staring at you. Just a giant countdown to awful. Dance clubs are sketchy anyway. You don't even know what you're going home with till it's too late, right? It's so dark in there. You walk out at two in the morning, the street lights hit her. You're like, so babe, Jesus Christ, holy shit. Holy shit, no, it's not you, I swear, no. I just broke my leg, I apologize. I have a calcium deficiency. I think I snapped my femur coming through the doorway. I'm gonna hobble to the hospital. You should go home. I think we need to put our cell phones down and start living life again. I'm tired of hanging out with people who are on their phones texting people who didn't just drive to see them. They're not a status symbol anymore. I saw a homeless guy with a cell phone yesterday. That's where they're at now. You can get them off your fucking belt. Why do you need your cell phone on your belt? Are you in another douchebag and have some kind of duel? And Facebook's making us boring. I know it's fun to keep up with each other, but now when we actually physically see each other, we got dick to say, because we posted every fucking thought or activity. You got your friends that post everything like someone gives a shit? 
Let me tell you something, if your life was that goddamn interesting, you wouldn't have time to Facebook about it every five fucking minutes. I got friends I haven't seen in a year and a half still annoying the shit out of me. I just put my kids to bed and now I'm cleaning the refrigerator. Are you shitting me? Would you bring that up in a conversation that you clean? I would punch you in the fucking face. Let me tell you something. I asked you what you did last night and the extent of your activity was cleaning the refrigerator. Your proper response is fucking nothing. I didn't do shit last night. Cause you start telling me a fucking refrigerator cleaning story, that shit better go somewhere. Like, oh, and then I found a brick of weed I didn't know I had or something. I'm part of a generation I don't understand. Which I think is fairly obvious if you take two seconds and fucking look at me. I don't look like someone my age. I look like I walked out of an Allman Brothers photo. Which I like. I like how I look. I bought this shit. I think a lot of you fuckers look weird. All my friends are getting tattoos and piercings, which is fine. Get a tattoo, get nine tattoos. I just don't think you need a sleeve of tattoos. I hate to be the one to break this shit to you, but you're gonna grow old. And that shit ain't gonna look right. No. Yeah, you're gonna be Grandpa Dark Arms. And all the grandkids are gonna have questions. Like, what the fuck's wrong with your arms, Grandpa? And they're gonna say what the fuck to you, because that's the kind of family you'll run, because you have tattoo arms. And you'll have to explain yourself to an eight-year-old. Well, buddy, this used to be a serpent. But then my liver spots came in, so... Now I just tell people it's a run-over cheetah. This is my tribal tattoo. Grandpa, what tribe are you in? Uh, I'm in the tribe of guys who had $150 in the mid-90s. We are a massive tribe. We almost conquered every gym in America. And pierce it up. Get all the piercings you want, because that shit will grow back when you're tired of being mad at whoever you're mad at. It's the gauging of the ears I don't get. If you don't know what gauging is, that's where they stick the discs in their earlobes to make the holes in their earlobes bigger and bigger and bigger till it's a giant fuck you to a job with benefits. <laughs> fuck you, retirement. I'm gonna work at this sub shop till I die. You're lucky you don't hang out with my friends with those big ass holes in your ears. Probably wake up with two dicks in your face. Look at him, he's a stormtrooper. Look at him. Look, I'm fucking your ear, Dave. I'm fucking your ear. Do you feel like a rebel now? You guys have been a lot of fun, man. I appreciate it. Peace and love.